world. The black ladies, the 90s. I have no idea what that movie is. Look at us. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. I'm back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So, Cafe Americano. This is from 2016, so I wanted to get it before it was a year old. Uh, this is thanks to Rammer or Nathan. I don't know which. I, I got a bottle from each one of them. Uh, so, it's one or the other. I don't know. But thank you so much. 10.2 and 80 IBUs. And this is supposed to be just awesome. I've had it before, but it's just a tiny pour. It's like the dregs. It was like what, what was left. So I'm excited to have a full bottle to share. Yeah, and we've had another coffee stout, uh, Crack the Sky from Three Floors. Yeah, this is this is the one we were talking about. If you've seen our Crack the Sky video, which will be before this, when yeah. he said I haven't had that one, but this won't live up. And I yeah, and I had a tiny pour. I'm yeah, and, and so this, I, I I I'm pretty sure I, I'm confident saying, pretty sure confident that doesn't go good. But this is my favorite non-barrel aged stout. Well, so they brew this and it said they add raw chocolate and vanilla, or hints of vanilla. So, so it gives it that bourbon character. Right, should be yeah. awesome. All right, thanks. And that head, I mean, that's like a freaking just dark brown, like typical almost style. ruby. Holds the glass really well. Let's get the nose. Right, let's do it. Gosh, that so does, much that coffee. It smells like vanilla. a barrel aged coffee stout. I, mean, I get vanilla. And I, I get, get more of that peppery espresso I get pepper, coffee. espresso, vanilla. It's got an booze. amazing aroma at whatever we we're at. Smells, 11 months, 10, 11 months old yeah. now. It smells really good. Let's All get right. into it. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Again, Cigar City. It has that. I get a little bit of that, you know, sherry. That sherry. Mm -hmm. It's classic. Someone like, it was like glass shattering. Someone pointed that out to us. It's almost that classic Cigar City stout flavor. But that kind of mixes well, though. I love I mean, it. it. No, adds I love character. it. It character. I mean, I it like It doesn't that. take away. It gives it more flavor. It's a very robust flavor. Mm. Now, I don't get as much peppery coffee as no. I did with Crack the Sky. I mean, I get maybe a hint. Yeah. But it mostly just tastes like coffee, roasted malt. I don't get much vanilla. I get some chocolate. That's pretty much it. I mean, yeah. It doesn't taste like a barrel aged coffee stout, but it's pretty robust for a non barrel aged mm. coffee stout. I get hit with like a, a nice booziness to it more than mm -hmm. I got with Crack the Sky. Like you said, roastiness, creaminess, vanilla, that little sherry, yeah. um, you know, classic Cigar City stout flavor. It's thicker than Crack the Sky yeah. was. We shouldn't compare it. It's hard to, it's hard not to, though. Mm. That's really good. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's solid. So, do you like the Pepper Espresso coffee better, or just more the coffee stout? I like the I like the when I get peppery with it. I do too. I kind of like the Pepper Espresso a little bit better. Yeah. Hmm. But this is big. I mean, this is a big, robust, non-barrel aged stout. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, for a non-barrel aged coffee stout, I mean, to me, I want to rate this less than Crack the Sky just because I like the Pepper Espresso better. Yeah, I do too. But it's so thick, and yeah, I'm gonna go with a four or five. I, I, I like I this too. a lot. I agree. I'm gonna give it a four or five. I think that I would prefer Crack the Sky, but they're mm -hmm. close. Yeah. Um, good for different reasons. Right. And this is this is wonderful. I'm gonna give it a four or five as yeah, well. Yeah, me too. I love this beer. This is really good. Yeah. Anything else? No. As always, can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.